the dating culture here is a really important issue, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to talk about it with you. Well, thanks so much for coming on. People here often express frustration that others are just looking for you know, a temporary hookup, and no one's really looking for a long-term relationship. I completely agree. Oftentimes I feel like no one else is looking for intimacy in the same way I am. Rather than being rewarded for knowing exactly what I want, I feel like I'm being punished. Tell me about it. And so, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, well, it's not complicated, Elliot. Yeah. It's what a lot of girls want. Someone who's strong, brave, loyal, and a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you say a veteran? Well, yeah. It's kind of a cliche, but where are all the good, handsome, straight veterans on this campus? <laughs> Marcia, it's, it's great that you know what you're looking for, but can you maybe talk about dating culture at Princeton more generally? Or? Oh, sorry, of course. Um, well, we all know that the Princeton dating culture can be a little misleading. I feel like I never know what the other person is looking for, where we stand, if he's really been to war, or if he just bought that army coat at a thrift store. <laughs> I mean, you can tell by the lapels. I don't think anyone at Princeton has served in a war. It's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> well, in middle school, they told me to wait until high school. And in high school, they said it would finally happen in college. Here I am, and I haven't even kissed a first year private. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I want is a boy with a tidy haircut who makes his bed every morning and who fought with the French forces in the Battle of Verdun. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I've fallen for a guy, only to find out later that he's never even had trench foot. Did you say trench foot? <laughs> That's gross. I, I can guarantee you that no one on this campus has suffered from trench foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. Elliot, I, I suppose it would be easier to find, I don't know, a member of the National Guard or something. <laughs> so what should I have said? You shouldn't settle, Marsha. <laughs> Is it too much to ask? To date someone who's fought with mustard gas? <laughs> Marcia, no one's used mustard gas in a war since, like, World War One. <laughs> you sound just like my mother. <laughs> uh, Marsha Cunningham, everybody. <laughs> Talk about the war. <laughs>